the morning floss tube. It's Taryn. It is Saturday, April the 15th. I wish I could say it's tax day and this is the end, but that's not really until April 18th this year. So We still have a few more days to struggle through, um, but I'm really hoping we get everything done today anyway. Um, starting my morning off by drinking from my cup of sexy. Because who doesn't need that, right? How can you go wrong on a day that you start it with that? Um, before we get on to the cross-stitching and all of that, um, I just wanted to address the subject. It will be the only time I address it. There was some hullabaloo on Facebook and a little bit on one of my videos concerning one of my videos this past week. Um, the lady who brought up the subject on Facebook has since um, contacted me. We've messaged back and forth. Um, she got upset by what she thought was going to be in the video. She did not actually watch the entire video um, and has since apologized. So it is over and done. Um, I am not upset by it and I just want anybody to know that was involved in the discussion uh, that everything is all good and let's just move on. So, there you go. Um, and great stuff. Uh, I got a package yesterday from my postcard pal from Stitch From Stash, Kimberly. Full of goodness. Look at this card that she put in with it. I love that. I Doesn't that need to be stitched? I think probably embroidery. I mean, you could cross stitch it. Um, but yeah, that needs to be stitched and like in a hoop or something. I mean, that's just awesome. It had a package of Thread Heaven. So that's always good. It had candy. Yes. Dark chocolate covered almonds. <clears throat> gummies. I haven't let my kids see any of this because gummies, they would have eaten them all. So they don't get to see them. I haven't opened them yet just because it was late. Um, but I'm dying to. And look, they even have blackberry. Blackberry. I love blackberry. Um... And they're from Trader Joe's, the candies are. We don't have a Trader Joe's around here. Okay, we don't have anything around here. Um, but I always hear such great things about Trader Joe's. I'm dying to try them. So thank you, Kimberly. I appreciate it. I really do. Okay, on to stitching. Because... Sherry and McKenna won't give me a break. I did have to work on my Linen and Threads Mystery Band Sampler. And I'm all caught up. Ha, <laughs> just kidding. Not even close. This is where I am. Obviously, still in January. Um, last time I think I had gotten that far. So I got all of this in. And I could have gotten so much more done except for I got up here on the bird and realized his body was one stitch too fat. So I had to go rip all of that back out and redo it. I think with all that I've pulled out and started over in this that Maybe I could have finished January by now. I don't know. But 
I did get some progress made, and I will take it. Um, yesterday, I worked on my one of my projects from the uh, Freebie February in uh, on Facebook. I'm doing all four of these little hearts on uh, some red Ada. Is that's my goal is to do them all. This pattern is from CrossStitching.com. Don't forget the dash. But this is where I am on it. I think yesterday I did the little bird in this heart right here. And this is just a 14 count Ada, I think. And I'm just using plain white DMC um, three strands to try to get kind of full coverage. And last week in my video, um, I had talked about a website where I showed you some of the free patterns, the little bird houses for the each month and the coffee cups. Um, and when I said in my video I was missing a dash in the blog address, but I have fixed that in the description for that video, and I think I put it, you know, like in the little words in the video too. But this is one of the patterns from her blog. I'm calling it Sunset Kittens, Sunset Kitties, I don't know, something like that. But here it is. Um, obviously just starting on the cats. My needle minders from Abby. I'm doing this on just a piece of scrap fabric because I told you I'm somewhat obsessed with smalls at the moment. And this is, I don't know, maybe an 18 count Ada. It was a yellow piece of Ada that I ice dyed using um, raspberry jello powder. So it's yellow and kind of pink and orangey mottled kind of color. So. I couldn't help myself. I had to start something new. I have a new focus for um, the Euro Whips challenge. I want to get this one done this month. My Norman Rockwell. This is my oldest whip currently. Um, and I've heard recently people commenting, I guess just several times recently I've noticed it, about how in the 80s there were not a lot of um, patterns that weren't little cutesy kinds of things and cartoony and everything. They were there. It was probably much more difficult to find them in the 80s, but like this book is from 1984. Um, and I probably started this sometime in the late 80s, maybe 86 or something. This is where I am on it. I've shown it before. I have not done any work on it this week. With the exception of back stitching, I have finished three of the four pages of this pattern. I don't know why I put it away um, and why I quit working on it. But I want to get it finished this month. That is my focus this month for my Your Whips challenge. So we'll see. Um, and the reason that I can even pick something else for a focus is because my love bear is my dun bear. I finished this loving bear. I actually like him much better completed. Um, he's much more cute. But I have no idea what I'm going to do with him, but he's done. He is done. 
I'm so happy. So, not only that, but I did a different February finish yesterday because I finished my Grumpy Cat. Look at that. There was some snow on the ground down here, but I did not put it on because um, I thought he looked pretty cute just like that. And I have an idea for how I want to finish him. Um, and so I've ordered some buttons to go with him. We'll see when they come in if I still like it or not. The little snowflakes are kind of hard to see, but they are there. So, and my little star is blingy, thanks to Abby. So, I am so excited. Two finishes this week. And you may be wondering, how could I have enough time to get two finishes done and stitch all of those on a week where um, we're working 12, 14 hour days. Um, both of those I finished on Monday because on Sunday afternoon, you know, I said my allergies were really bothering me last Sunday. By the afternoon, Dax told me that I had to take something. And so I didn't want to take Benadryl because that would just knock me out. So I took um, some 12 hour non drowsy stuff, which helped get through the day. We got home and I was just so exhausted that I crashed from probably 11.30 ish at night um, until about 2 in the morning. And then I was wide awake. I could not go back to sleep. I laid in bed until 3 in the morning and finally it was like, okay, I, this is ridiculous. So, I got up and stitched. It's amazing what you can get done when you're laying there, <clears throat> when you're awake uh, hours before you should be. And that's not all. I hope you're sitting down for this. Are you sitting down for this? Because you're not going to believe this. I FFO'd my Uncle Sam. FFO'd people. This was the piece of the table runner that I had cut off um, when I was trying to decide. <coughs> not trying to decide. When I was making my project bag, there was a piece that I cut off when it was, I still needed to cut off another piece. I had cut it and it was still a little bit longer than I wanted. So this was the piece that I had cut off. I just sewed it on to make a little pocket. And Uncle Sam is actually sewn on here. I just put the buttons to make it look like they were holding him on. So I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. I'll get a dowel rod or Something to run through there to hang him up, but an FFO, yay! So that was awesome. <coughs> uh, I'm sorry at uh, the uh, coughing, any of that. Um, here's a little lesson you can learn a lot from my stupid experiences. We have had, and this, it happened last year too, an explosion of fleas in our garage. The garage. I don't know why they love the garage, but they do. We have a lot of boxes out there. I suspect we have some mice out there, and that is where my problem is coming from. I don't know, but I've set off flea bombs, and I do them three at a time. And Thursday morning, I was setting some off because I'm trying to catch them in the cycle before where they've hatched, but they haven't started laying yet so that I can put an end to the cycle, really. Um, 
but I uh, set one off and when you for these there's a little tab that you break back and or it breaks off and then you push the button down to make it start going I had one going um, I broke the tab on the second one I'm trying to be really fast so I could get out of there and the tab slid under the button and so I had to dig that out and while I'm doing that I'm breathing in the stuff that's already spraying in the air which is a really really bad idea what it does is um, make down your throat and everything um, and into my chest irritated and swollen it hurts it's not like a burn um, it's like something's blocking my throat all the way down and I'm sure it is blocking because it's all swollen um, you know that feeling when you are swallowing a pill and it gets stuck it feels like that all the way down um, and into my chest it actually into my chest actually is really sore um, but it is getting better um, it was my throat and my chest um, my throat feels a lot better now it's getting mostly into my chest um, but it it really only hurts if I breathe or swallow so there is that so there you go learn through me what not to do so I did get some things in the mail um, I got this is off of Listia and because I'm into the minis now the smalls I got this little um, Barbara Mock Christmas Quickies and it's just a whole bunch of little but those will be cute and hopefully quick they really are tiny um, they look to be about maybe you know 20 by 20 something like that so those should be quick to make little bowl fillers or ornaments or whatever so I got that off Listia I did have to subtract some money from my um, stitch from stash because when I was trying to spend my eBay bucks I didn't realize that it didn't um, process online quick enough when I was completing my order to get the eBay bucks so I actually paid for this one um, but it's some little Uncle Sam's I thought those would be kind of cute I like the whole pillow idea and I thought they that um, the cross stitch ribbon stuff that those would look I could use that instead of sewing them into the pillow I could just sew it on top or whatever but I'd have to buy that so I don't know we'll see but all of this other stuff I got with my eBay box and so that's like for free um, I got this Lizzie Kate it's the um, good things come to those who stitch and I got this one by the trilogy <clears throat> it's called round robin but I thought that was cute and it came with the buttons from um, just another button company now the buttons have a price of five fifty on them the pattern has a price of three dollars with shipping included my winning bid was six cents six cents I can't believe nobody bid against me and I got this um, Allie is working this is one that she I don't know if she's got it done um, 
it's like Alley Stitch Studio. I should have looked it up. Um, but I've been wanting this one since I saw hers. And so I had those books and it was there. And so I couldn't resist. I have another thing or two that are still coming, I think. Um, so that was awesome. Okay. I think that's it. I think I've covered everything. I've got to go get the kids up, um, get everybody dressed. I've got to press some shirts because we are heading off for senior pictures. Um, we've got to meet the lady. I'm only staying for a little while to see what she's got in mind. I guess to fork over some cash, um, to let her know what I want, and then I'm going to let them do their thing and see what we come up with picture-wise. So, graduation invitations came in this past week, and I don't know that I'm ready for this, but I do know I get no choice in the matter, so there is that. I hope everybody has a wonderful week and that you get lots of stitching done. Um, that if you celebrate, I hope y'all have a great Easter. Dax and I are actually going to try to take the day off so that we can spend it just with our family. Um, we've put off Easter dinner that we usually do with the rest of our family coming into town for a couple of weeks. Um, because things are going on next weekend, so we couldn't do it then. Just because we just, just couldn't do it this week. So, anyway, thank you everyone um, for your comments. Thank you for uh, the subscriptions, the likes. Thank you for being here and feeling like a group of friends. I really appreciate it more than you know. And I hope everybody has a wonderful week. We'll see you next time. Bye.